Okay. <laughs> I call being Sharpe. <laughs> Ten points if you got what that was wrong. Okay, thank you. I mean, hi. <laughs> and thanks for being here. Yeah, welcome to Popcorn in Bed. Hope you guys are having a good day, a good week, yes. and a good March. Ah, uh, yeah, March is a weird one. Yeah, transition month. Yeah, for sure. Because it like teases you with spring, but right. then it'll like snow and then you get depressed. Yes. But it's good. It's great. We're heading that way. Daylight savings, the days are longer. So that's good. Um, and we get to watch a movie with you tonight. And we yes. are watching Secretariat. Secretariat. Our Patreon trivia night winner gets to select five movies and um, give those to me, like his favorite or five he really wants uh, us to see. And um, this time we put them on a poll. Sometimes I just pick, this time we put them on a poll. And for Forever Young, Mel Gibson won, but only 1%. But I have been wanting to watch Secretariat secretly. So two birds, one stone, he gets two of his picks watched. And I'm excited Here to watch have. this. Yeah, horse racing. Yes. You did not watch Sea Biscuit with me, did you? No, but I've seen it. Oh, good. A long time ago. Okay, but I have seen Toby it. Maguire. Toby Maguire. Toby mm -hmm. Maguire. So I don't know who's in As this a, one actually. Hold on, Jockey. Yes. I couldn't think of a name for a second. I have no idea who's in this one. Me not either. even a clue. You told me it was a horse racing movie, or else I would have thought it was like a diplomatic, like Madame Secretary in movie <laughs> version form. But, it's but you haven't heard of the Horse Secretariat? I'm not sure. I feel like honest. it's a pretty famous story. Yeah, now that you say that, I'm like, oh, maybe I have, but yeah. I don't know. I don't learn. I know there's a bunch like of we're derbies. still not gonna know how the movie ends, so yeah, no, that's. <laughs> I don't. I think this was the Kentucky Derby. Is that the one with the hats? I don't know, but I think that was different than what Sea Biscuit did. We're gonna stop. Anyways, talking. we got a lot to learn. Um, <laughs> it's basically a sports movie, and we love sports. We movies. love sports. Movies. And I actually love animal movies, despite mm, me too. not loving. No, and I'm gonna lose followers mm. for this. I love. You're not a pet person. I'm not a pet person, but I like, I don't not like animals. Yeah. I still cry every time I watch Planet Earth or like, you know, some of my favorite movies. Like Marley and Me is in my top five. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited. And I loved Seabiscuit. Like really, yeah, like really one. loved it. So I'm excited to watch this. And me like, too. is Kentucky Derby coming up? Should we have worn hats for this reaction? Shoot. Missed opportunity. Hey. We don't mean baseball hey. caps. <laughs> Hey, we'll make it a thing at the Kentucky Derby. <laughs> Love like, me a baseball cap. Throw a giant flower on it. Yeah. And we're good to go. Okay, if you want to play trivia nights and vote on polls like this, here's our Patreon. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell. Here's Instagram. Bada boom, bada bang. Let's off to the races. <laughs> Oh no, never mind. Sorry. Also, I'm play Bob gone. <laughs> 2,000 years ago, a man named Job complained to God about all his troubles. God answered, do you give the horse his strength? Do you make him leap like a locust? He paws fiercely and charges into the fray. He does not shy away from the sword. He cannot stand still when the trumpet sounds. Good intro. Hey. Sixty-nine. Honey, I have three shirts. A hamper, if you wouldn't mind. I'll get those up. And also go by the wine shop. Yeah, and I'm getting ready for a Christmas pageant. Uh -huh. That's what I'm doing. Christmas pageant. It has to do with Christmas. Lots of things. Really? That's great. What's the role? The war protester. I was thinking that we could... It's a really good role, Mom. You'll love it. You two done. This is she. It has... We'll leave this afternoon. Thank you. Oh, no. What? Where's she from? Yeah, I know. Thank you. Oh, Mama's gone. Your mother was always so kind to me. Thank you. Hollis said you found her. She just fell. The doctor said she didn't suffer. She looked peaceful. How is Daddy? He keeps asking, where is she? Oh. Don't let him fool you, darling. It's not whether they think we won. It's whether we think we won. You run your race, Penny. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> we'll take him. Look at all these trophies yeah, she's passing. 
You got married. Yes, but I'm here now. Mama's gone. Mama's pen. Yours now. Eddie, I just want to thank you so much for coming. I just feel real bad for Mr. Chinry. He always thought the world of you. You could hear the horse's thoughts through your hands. Father's a good man, Miss Penny. I'm Arthur Hancock. Your daddy called me. Oh, oh yes. This is my son, Seth. Every single face looks yes. familiar. I, that's exactly what I've been thinking. <gasps> we should hire nurses and let him stay at home. <laughs> Farm has to go. It's been losing money hand over fist for years now. I'm a professor, and you're a housewife. I moved up our flight the first thing tomorrow. I've got to get back. I need a few more days here. I have to make sure Daddy's all right. The kids could all do with a little responsibility. Make sure Hollis has that power of attorney order. The state's vulnerable. I love you. Love you. Love you. I'm Aww. Be good. We will. She's got a cute family. Yeah. Miss Ham. Thank you. Like Miss Ham's you. familiar too. Yeah, Mother's Day. These two are both pregnant by Bo Ruler and great colts come from great sires. My mother thought the world of you. Who the hell told you to bring this one out? Who are you? <laughs> Penny Tweedy, Penny Chennery. Better get back to work. He seems warm. I know you and your brother aren't horse people and you suffered a loss and all, but you don't need to worry about this right now. The sale would have been bad business. No, business to come to a barn, interrupt a trainer's work. They were worth twice what we were going to sell them for. Your father? Ask him. My father's been sick for quite a long time now. You've been paid to look out for his interests. Just because this place is going downhill, it ain't my fault. The owners of Oakworth were already talking about selling our horses for twice the price they were going to pay us. You train for them too, don't you? <gasps> that would be committing fraud. Who the hell do you think you are coming here accusing me? I want her to fire him. Why don't you get your things and get off my farm? I have a contract and I'll sue you. If I ever even hear your name again, yeah, I will yeah. see that you go to prison. Yes. Yes, Penny. <sighs> Where's Bull Hancock eat lunch? Shoot. At his club every day. She's here for but business and I'm only. here for it. Yep. Gentlemen only, we'll see about that. Miss. What'd they say, 69? Uh, uh, we said we're 62. I, I'm sorry, Mr. There's gentlemen only Hancock. club. I told her this is a gentleman's club and she it's just It's all right, Brenda, it's all right. I fired Earl Jensen. <laughs> Does that uh, mean you're selling the horses or keeping them? But I'm not willing to sell it unless I get what it's worth. Well, horse farm needs a strong hand on the reins, but the hand that threw Earl Jensen out the door looks pretty strong to me. I need a good trainer just to get things stabilized. You need to talk to Lucian Lauren. He's a French-Canadian. Woo! <laughs> dresses like Superfly. He's trying to retire. Superfly a person? I don't know. Mm. Or like, he dresses Superfly. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a Superfly. So I don't know. <laughs> Looks Superfly to me. <laughs> Mr. Lauren, excuse me, I'm Penny Chennery. I need a trainer. Bull Hancock suggested that I find you. Yeah, Bull called me, but I tell you, I'm tired of babysitting who are nearly as stubborn and stupid as their owners are. Oh. I'm in a bit of a tight spot. I... Mr. Lauren, two of our mares are pregnant by Bold Ruler, who happens to be the finest stallion of his generation. Four! Well, I yelled four. I'm afraid at your stable, I'd be yelling four all day long. He's from something too. I'm gonna have to IMDB this crap. I know, me too. I think she's- I think same. she's driving me crazy the most. She's from Under the Tuscan Sun, but I only saw that once. I, I don't know if that's true even. Diane Lane, The Outsiders. Can you give me any hints? When are you coming back? Soon. I need to talk to you about this coin toss thing. Stallions cost more than mares. No, they're, they're, they're more glamorous. He invested in mares, which is the first smart thing he did. Second smart thing he did was he made a deal with Ogden Phipps. Phipps? Instead of paying a stud fee, Daddy made a deal to breed Phipps' best stallion with our two best mares. When the mares are close to term, they toss a coin to see who gets which foal. Now, the two dams are Hasty Matilda and Something Royal. I love the name, Me too. <laughs> Hasty Matilda. He had great stamina, Jack. Do you Penny. know what that means? It's Penny, so I are in dam and Sam I am? What is this? We need you here, Penny. Come home. Right after the coin toss. Two weeks. You can do it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're ready. Okay, what? Well, John Malkovich. Mm -hmm. That's Lucian. I'll be making the toss. Are you waiting on anybody else? No, I came alone. Uh, we toss right on the hour. Sorry guys, this IMDb is not Yeah, I think you may a get satisfying it. <laughs> one. How do you expect we can fetch a good price on the farm if we don't have a training operation in place? We came down here from Harvard because of a trainer. This coin toss 
is big. They think he wants a tasty Matilda's fold. So that's who we'll choose. Something royal right. cold could have an unusual Penny. mix of that's speed me. and stamina. No, but she has... Hey, that's the guy from Pig. Or Babe. Or yeah. Was called. That'll do Pig. Yeah. Your father almost never won our coin tosses. <laughs> and I do hope you've inherited his luck. Now, the winner has the choice of the offspring of Mr. Chenery's mare, Tasty Matilda, something royal. She thinks right. something royal? Mm hmm Heads? What if, like, Hollis is going to try to ruin everything? <gasps> yes! I'll go with Hasty Matilda. <gasps> Perfect. That's that. Uh, but I got what I wanted. You got what nobody else wanted. Let me go home. Hey, holiday. Hollis, you negative <laughs> Nancy. <laughs> so who won the coin toss? Phipps. He went with Hasty Matilda. Call me when she's ready to drop her fall. He's in! He must have been looking at, like... I... It was something about Prisquilla. Oh, in the book. But she said something about... We've been putting on this protest pageant for a year. And now the teacher says it's too political and we can't put it on. And when the teacher saw what we were doing... What else Dad, she can we, like, sue them or something? If you didn't disclose until today, they couldn't be held liable for a breach. What? <laughs> Thank you. Love, Henry. How was that? Honey. <laughs> Something Royals falls on its way. Can you at least pretend to care? She yeah. cares. I know. How would you like to come with me and see a horse being born? Really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, that was really sweet. Okay, so they think that the horse that's about to be born is going to be like a great racing Yeah, horse. because of the mom's parent. I think that's what the trainer guy read in a book. So, but I don't really know. How soon do they start racing? Yeah, probably not that soon, right? <gasps> he said something too. Like, are we waiting like eight years or like two? Oh, it's a boy. I feel like it's a boy. Maybe closer to like two. And you like start him probably like from now. I don't know. <laughs> I know. I <laughs> said, not me. Why? Oh, stand up that fast. Yep, yep, those are racing legs. I got goosebumps, I don't Me even too. know anything. Oh. How far away is it? I know. Because I thought they drove, but then he said the, something about the flight, so I'm confused. Brought you some company. This is the bold ruler cult, Daddy. She's already that big. Yeah, wow. We call him Big Red. Oh, I thought she was going to say we call him Secretariat. Yeah, what the? <laughs> Wait, is Secretariat a race? I don't know. Now that you say it like that, I'm like, maybe Secretariat's a race. Let him run his race, darling. Oh, that's what he said to her. Mornings, gate 33D. She's a classy lady. I know. The yearlings are looking good, especially the red one. We're breaking even. I thought the point was to sell the farm. When I went off to college, I felt like that cult, full of promise, full of adventure, like I could make something work. I gave up a career to have our family, and this cult is it's part of our family now. I just want to see him run. So after two years of juggling all this... Two years, good job. It isn't ending, it's just beginning. Hmm. It's tricky. How does he feel, Jimmy? Well, I feel like she's doing most of the juggling, yeah. so... <laughs> What do you think? Well, I think he's 1,100 pounds of baby fat. And the only reason he doesn't eat more is because he's too busy sleeping. He only does what he wants to do exactly when he wants to do it. Well, you did say they were stubborn. But he's got fire inside him. Ain't that right, Red? Ain't that right. You just race him under his name, Red. Oh, the jockey club insists on unique names. You keep sending them, they keep rejecting them. Who says his name yet? Well, it's good you're home. Your daughters have something they want to talk to you about. Kate and I were thinking of going to Chile. Just for a couple of months. What for? Teach English and learn Spanish. Part of a cultural mission. Mission to stir up trouble and act cool, you mean? Chile is socialist now. Thank Go you. Go play. <laughs> Although, if an opportunity to protest the war did present itself. Your teenage daughters are growing up to become rebels. We're like hippies, free spirits. Hippies are running from paying the price of freedom. When do you have to give an answer by? There's a meeting for the parents on the 5th. The day after my protest pageant. You're doing your play? Yeah. After two years, you're finally going to do it. Both of you can... Make it right. The new cold runs his first race on the 4th. That's in New York. 
Uh, I will be on the first plane home. Miss Ham called. Thing about the name for the horse. And rounding out the field in the fourth race is the son of Bold Ruler, Secretariat. Secretariat. Okay. Good job, Cass. Not a race. A horse. Paul. Where's Paul? Paul! Here. <laughs> I have to believe that the horse is like this. I actually... I was thinking about that when they were showing like that practice race. Yeah. And I actually think they do. I mean, think of a horse in the wild, like born to run. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's like a really good, fun and workout. And it's just like... You don't like my hat? Why? Do you like my hat? I... Well, it's... <laughs> It's, it's fun. Like With a striped tie. Yeah. <laughs> of course I do. I like it very much. Uh, uh, oh, I just realized that's the first time I've, I've laughed. I've really laughed in a, since I don't remember when. Ooh. For like some people, like athletes, they love yeah. running. They yeah, love, that's what I think. Like if you're yeah. bored to run, you love a good workout. Yeah. It wasn't exactly what I had in mind. You said he was ready to race. Yeah, he was ready to race. He just wasn't ready to play bumper cars. Four. I expect a lot more than that. So do I. What the hell were you doing? Oh, yes. Yeah, you're off him, kid. What? Lucian, stop. We need hey, to talk about this. don't start with me and you stay out of this. It's none of your business. Oh, don't do that. Are you sure that it was Paul's fault? Il savait pas. No, it was my fault. I thought they didn't even expect much of yeah. him. I didn't have enough experience. This horse needs a jock with more experience. You want a jock, you won't back off. Then you want Ronnie Turcotte. Don't ever say this is none of my business. Every bit of this is my business. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. Correct answer. I called a check on your flight. They canceled it due to weather. <gasps> oh, no. Mom? Honey. Oh, let me hear. Oh. Holy oh. infant oh. so. <laughs> Dad says it's commie crap. <laughs> She's a good voice. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Jockey, Ron, Tricot. Bell or something. Oh, that seems like him. Miss Shannon? Mr. Turcott. Oh, I'm so sorry. Lucian and I were so hoping that you'd be able to ride in our next race. I'll be ready. Why wouldn't I be? Uh. I hear you have the heart of a champion. The last horse you were on ran so hard his heart burst. No. I risk my life every time I climb on a horse. I'm not afraid. Neither are they. I want to win just like they do. The last horse I rode ran so hard his heart burst. It's who they are. And it's who I am. You want somebody else? Get somebody else. I want you. But he's very hurt. Yeah. <laughs> Which of you ladies own secretary? His name is Secretariat. And he's going to make your horse take dictation. Mine's the big red one. And he's going to beat them all. I wanted to ha see a montage of them yeah, bonding. Me too, me too. They need chemistry. Yeah, I think we'll get it though. I think we'll get it. Like in the future of this. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Russ Myron out quickly. Got nowhere to move. I thought you said Turcot was aggressive. Secretary, Secretary, making a bold move. Oh shoot, come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah, be encouraging. Come on. Four. <laughs> oh my gosh, the second race! He's killing it! <laughs> is it just me or is that horse posing? <laughs> Owner hates the attention, but the horse loves We know him too. He's just not that yeah. into you. <laughs> When did this movie come out? I don't know. Secretariat wins by three lanes. Secretariat by five Dang, lanes. look at those animals. They're, They're so like, cool. Very like majestic. Yeah. Secretariat. Oh no. Things are too good too I quickly. Know. I was just really surprised when they won the second race. <laughs> I do have a feeling those two are gonna get together. It's hilarious. Most of the sons of Bold Ruler couldn't handle the distance as three-year-old runs. So what can you tell us about Secretariat? Loves to run, likes to come from behind. Nerve-wracking for me. But his fans love it. Speed and endurance don't necessarily go. 
Secretary. <laughs> hey, Secretary, Horse of the Year. <gasps> Why does this make you want to get into horses? I know. <laughs> I want to go to a race. Yeah. The greatest horse I ever rode. And to its owner who took on the old boys and won. And every owner, every trainer, every jockey out there is going to be trying to bring us down. Bring it. Why is Miss Ham out there? Uh-oh. Horse of the year. Oh, no. Did you hear him? Did you hear dad? Daddy, honey. Dad. He's had a stroke. Hmm. I always knew where you stood. And I'm grateful, so grateful, for the way you showed me what it was to stand up in the world and live the way you believe. The big red colt won a horse of the year, Daddy. I think he can go all the way. And if he does, I hope, I hope, I hope you can see it. He didn't die, did he? I think he did. Didn't the lines go far? How did you get here so fast? I'm so sorry about your father. Oh, I was already on my way. Are the children all right? Oh, they're fine. I left Denver before I heard the news. Hollis had asked me to study the tax issues that would arise. So you've asked my husband to become your ally in this? Last time I checked, Jack and your children were still part of this family. But if you presume to judge my fitness as a wife or mother, I will count you a stranger for the rest of Penny, my life. We need to regain some perspective. Regain? I'm well, confused. Let's not talk about this right now. I feel like they're trying to gang up on her to like oh. sell it or something. The current value of his estate, the inheritance tax will be at least six million dollars. Neither of us has a fraction of that money. So we sell the mares and the yearlings. I had an appraisal done, and that won't get us half of what we need. Tax on the inheritance? Another option. I'm not selling him. Due to his outstanding two-year-old season, you were sold today. Secretariat would bring price of seven million dollars. <gasps> But if you were to lose just one of the triple crown oh, races, crap. that value yeah, would drop to three million. So we sell Secretariat. You try and sell him. We're out of time. We don't play this right. It could amount to nothing. My father came from nothing. If I have to challenge you in court on this, I will. Oh, boy. Why? Ma'am, would you please tell Jack and Hollis about the document that Daddy left for you? Five years ago, Mr. Chenery had me. Witness him signing a provision that, while both of you are beneficiaries, dispersal of the farm would be left to Hollis. Decisions regarding the horses would be left to Penny. Challenging court on that. I teach economics at Harvard, and I don't know a way to conjure up six million dollars before you race him again. What makes you think you can? I'll find a way. And if I can't, I'll live with it. Make me, the whole family, live with it for a past that is gone. This is about life being ahead of you and you run at it because you never know how far you can go unless you run. But if you stumble and fall, you don't just make us fools, you make us beggars. So when the dad dies, they have to pay six million dollars to an inheritance? I reckon you heard about Bull Hancock now. No. Well, after your daddy's funeral, they say he went home and, and just fell dead. <gasps> oh my gosh. I don't know about the ways of God, man, but I know your daddy and Mr. Bull lifted each other up the way you lift me up and the way you lift up Red. I just, every ounce of guilt or questioning or whatever, she's feeling it all herself. Like, mm -hmm. she's putting that all on herself. So I need someone, I need Jack. Yes. To support her. To see her. her. Yeah. We offer 32 shareholders exclusive breeding rights. We call it a select opportunity. Father would have loved that phrase. How much per? 190,000. 190. That's more than anybody's ever paid for a breeding share. That's what makes it exciting, Seth. Horse racing is all about excitement. I mean, he's been a great colt, but he's completely untried as a three-year-old. And his mother was old when she had him, and Ogden Phipps knew all that when he could have chosen my colt, but he didn't. And now I've got Secretariat, and he's got a horse named Missed Opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> you know, no son of bold ruler has ever won a single triple crown race. Okay, that's a, that's a, a mile and a half distance. The secretary's never come close to running. You know, lose the farm, the horse, everything. You mind if I ask why you called me? Your father, he really helped me. And, and work is good for grief. I'm in. <gasps> Mr. Keck, calling about a select opportunity on secretary. Well, sir, we're, we're moving to syndicate his breeding rights. We have uh, 32 shares. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, it's a great opportunity. I don't get the shares part. Like, does it, does he breed with 32 mares? That's kind of crazy, right? I think it means, like, breeding. Me you gotta spend money to make it. Put some thought into it, all right? Yeah, or, like, shares a part of his like a winnings of, of his, his, I don't know.
Why, Bob? <laughs> so, I think there's three races that make up the Triple Crown. So if you win yes. all three, you're a Triple Crown winner, right? And there it feels right. And he hasn't ran any of those yet. No. Okay. I think he's only done like the one loop like around. The, right. And there. I don't care how many times they say no. I don't care how many times they tell us we can't do it. I am not giving up. I will not live the rest of my life in regret. We are going to see that horse run and win. And we are going to live rejoicing. Amen. <laughs> the coin toss guy. Mm-hmm. Phipps. Hello, Mr. Phipps. Mr. Thank Sweetie. you for coming. Job. If I smell the air correctly, Mrs. Tweedy, you're about to ask me to spend a small fortune to buy a share in a horse I could have owned for nothing. But you didn't. They need someone to lead them. Instead of being the man who lost the secretary in the past, he'll be the one who had the vision to lead investors in his future. His future is uncertain, and I don't buy shares on untested three-year-olds. My accountants, they may be slow afoot, but they are quick to calculate, and they tell me that you're in a rough spot, so I'll buy that horse for $7 million, all cash. Nope. If he does what I think he'll do, his value will double, if not triple. You're guaranteeing that this horse is going to win the Triple Crown, the Derby, the Preakness, and the Belmont. Three races hasn't been done in 25 years. That is exactly what I'm saying. Thanks for catching up, Mr. Phipps. Eight million. Oh, no. Eight seventy-two. How much money yeah. would that have been? Yeah. You're that stubborn. It's not stubborn. I'm right. <laughs> I love that. She is a mom, a horse whisperer, a businesswoman, like yes, a saleswoman. <gasps> she did it. All this talk about secretary hasn't faced the horse as good as Sham. She said, I'll find a way to do it. Mm -hmm. And she did. Well, I think that fellow's gonna make Lucian say things in French my mom and spank him for. <laughs> <laughs> this guy will not shut him. Yeah. <laughs> Saw the paper. Yes. I'd like to say congratulations. I am a lawyer and I know what performance guarantees mean. Jack, I don't know how to earn a reward without taking a risk. You're really true. Ogden Phipps offered you $8 million? And he wouldn't have made that offer unless he thought Secretariat would be worth twice that. True. So true. He's a business. You what you want with your money, but I can't spend my money on a risk like that. Don't worry. I understand. I just you wanted to be proud of her. And yeah. Look what she just did. What are you doing? The well, same thing I've done with every belt I ever own. Listening it. <laughs> Buddy. I just hate what she's having to go through, and there's so little I can do to help. Someday I'd like to be able to do for that horse half of what you do for its owner. Those are the grandest words anyone's ever said to me. That was so sweet, Lucian, when they had it in you. I love our team. I know. <laughs> the horse is now being loaded in for the big race of the day. Oh, crap. Oh, my gosh. The final test before the campaign for the Triple Crown. Come on, Ronnie. Come on, Secretariat. They said this is before the Triple Crown? Did they just say that? I think so. Okay. Come on, buddy. Do you feel like something's wrong with Secretariat? Like, he even looked at what's her face kind of weird? Yeah, and she was like, yeah, she was off. off. Oh, this is a lot of pressure. I know. That's the guy that'll never shut up. Mm -hmm. Come on, buddy boy. Come on. Something feels wrong. <laughs> the breathing doesn't sound good. Something feels wrong. I don't want him to get hurt. Me neither, but I think he's going to. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You got it, buddy. <laughs> oh, I'm so nervous. I know no, I can't tell something bad's gonna happen. I know, I almost so. He's just young. And it was. It's okay. It's not the Triple Crown yet. It's not the Triple Crown yet. There's other races. He sounded like come a Come on with me. You two, come with me. We just lost a race that we could not afford to lose. In front of Ogden Phipps, I've got a slew of other investors here. What am I supposed to tell them? Just tell them the truth. The horse had a bad day. We're blaming the horse now. How could you hold him back that long? What were you thinking? I wrote him the same way I always do. The only reason I don't fire you right now, both of <gasps> you, is because we're leaving for Kentucky tomorrow. It's not Ronnie's fault. He had him where he should be. You had better fix it. Okay, I know she's under a lot of press. Yeah. yeah. Remember, you're gonna rejoice every day? Yeah. We gotta check him out. Yeah. He needs a vet. 
Also, why is he in such a normal outfit? Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's why. Yeah. <laughs> I think I got your problem here, Lucian. Do they? He's got an abscess. Oh. I think that's fixable. Yeah. Hey, mother's on the phone. I just wanted to see how you're doing. Yeah, I'm kind of busy right now. I mean, we're getting ready for a march. Are you okay with that? Our political beliefs can change, but our, our need to do what we believe is right. That doesn't. I gotta go. Can we talk later? Sure. Are you all right? Sure. Doc found a big abscess in Red's lip. You probably heard him all the way around the track. Ain't nobody else seen it. <laughs> Forget it. Let's get him ready for the derby. Someone apologize. tell him! I know, please apologize. I always wondered, um, how much is the horse and how much is the jockey yeah. and... <sighs> okay, okay. Okay, team's coming back together. I almost hope it's a, like, people are underestimating yes, now a uh -huh. little bit. Uh-huh. They're like, yeah, you can't run long distances, and then... So that's Poncho over there with Jim, right? So we can go home. Ooh. Yeah, eye contact red. <laughs> Intimidate him. <laughs> this makes me want a dog. <laughs> I just feel like animals are like humans and they just understand this in a way we can't comprehend. It makes me want a dog. <laughs> I can't get a horse. <laughs> Some people think Secretary didn't appear to be himself in Wood Memorial. Is that journalism ease for uh, getting your butt whipped? Horse racing is uh, unforgiving for. Trainers, horses, and housewives. Well, it's like every other all or nothing, multi million dollar gamble we housewives make every day. Ms. Tweedy didn't hear me, so I'm going to make it very clear. Oh, oh she you. did, sir. Terriot is going down. Guarantee it. Oh, okay. good. The hand slap. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. Still ain't eight. Well, I'm going to have Ronnie take them out in the morning. He can't run a mile and a half race after eating nothing. I think the abscess is gone, but he still hasn't eaten, and Ronnie says his breathing's still a little shallow. Can I have a moment with him? She's his voice. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, no. All right, then. I'll see you in the morning. I hope he goes back and eats. <laughs> <gasps> <laughs> He's back. He's gonna do it. And you're about to see something that you ain't never even seen. I love Eddie. Seen. Me too. He loves Secretary so much. Get ready. I think he stole some of Lucian's <laughs> pants. <laughs> <laughs> they might be you know, mixing and matching. <laughs> this is one of the Kent yes. Derby or the Kent Crown Derby. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. I think he's not like the crowds or is he getting pumped up? I, I can't know. tell. He has to win. He has to win. He will win. Come on, buddy boy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a good stomp, right? Mm -hmm. Like something good's about yeah. to happen. Not like a bad yeah. stomp. <laughs> <laughs> Like, it wasn't like I slow know, motion, I like. <laughs> just just saying. <laughs> Fire in his eyes. That's determination, if I've ever seen it. Yeah. <sighs> that was fast, that fell fast. And Secretariat breaks last from the gate. I can't even believe how much pressure she's feeling right now. No. Secretariat is at the back of the pack. Don't worry, don't worry, he's making a move. <laughs> As they're heading into the back straight, Sham moving up, challenging for the lead. Okay. Oh, her family is there! Family. Jack! Run him down. Come on. Let's go, boy. Put those oats to work. Well back of the leaders and yeah, yeah, yeah. Lull him into yep. security. Entering the, the final turn. <gasps> come on. Come on. Come on. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! He's not a so late thing on him. <gasps> come on! Come on! Come on! Oh, oh my gosh! Put your neck forward! Neck and neck and neck and neck and neck and neck! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! He's rising! Oh my gosh! Please end now! <laughs> <laughs> I can't take it. When is it over? Okay! It's over! 
think I need a more oh, prominent too late. finish line. <gasps> Holy cow! I know. Where's the flag? Oh my gosh! <laughs> we still have a lot of work to do, but at least we've given ourselves the chance. Congratulations, Penny and Secretariat, on the fastest derby ever. <gasps> Look how proud he is! I know. <laughs> it's all so tender, I can't handle it. After setting a new Kentucky hey, Derby record, <laughs> I can't believe that's Mom. With three horses in, I'm going to give it to Chick Anderson, who will call the race for you. <sighs> I'm glad we're not like. <sighs> feels less scary on TV. <laughs> He's lost. Why is he always lost? <laughs> Strategy, boy. Strategies. Fast, and he's going to the outside. On, he's going for the lead. Dang right he is. He's going for the lead. Here comes Champs. He's going to the outside. Now, now it's Secretariat. Let's see him. Secretariat, the two and a half. Two minutes. Champs coming to the wire. He wins. Why do I want to cry? Me too. I'm so much older. I don't know what to do. Every single one of them. Failed to win the triple crown. Well, he just won the first two in record time. Yeah. Belmont is the graveyard of speed horses. Longest mm. race I'll ever run. Oh. In all my years of training, I've never had a horse who loves to run the way this one does. My instinct is to train him hard, to stoke that fire. If I'm wrong, they will say that not only did we ruin the horse's chances at the triple crown, they may say we ruined the horse. Who cares what they say? If we push him instead of rest him, it could be dangerous. Nobody knows how much he can take. She does. She's his voice. That woman, she's so arrogant. Hmm. <laughs> we rest our horse, they push theirs. On race day, we push them even harder. We push them until it comes apart. Oof. Have you ever ran on a horse? Like, have, have you ever ridden a horse while it's running? No. Me neither. I've ever been skilled enough. enough. I can barely <laughs> make sure the trot. Yeah. It's I, hard. It's. But this movie is making me just like, I know. I'm like, oh, I need to go right on. It over. looks like very, I don't know. <sighs> Satisfying. Yeah. Yeah. I brought you a little something from a mutual friend of ours. The tail side is very nice. Is that the coin that got her secretariat? Oh, maybe. You're the best owner I ever saw. Okay. Three years ago, I would have said that a racehorse didn't care who his owner was, but then he's not a racehorse, he's secretariat. Mm. Give me goosebumps. He's a one of a kind. It's a lot of pressure. Yeah. <gasps> this is what we want. Crying. You're crying. <sighs> I'm so proud of you. Oh, thank you. So <laughs> oh, thank you. Something I need you to know. I want you to win. And win or lose. You've taught our children what a real woman is. And I never could have taught them either of those things. And you've taught me something too. Good job, Jack. Yeah. That was perfect. Oh, shoot! Yes! <laughs> yes to that! I realized something. I've already won. I made it here. I didn't quit. I've run my race. Now you run yours. What her dad said, let him run his race. Or <laughs> seems pretty fired up. He knows what's going on. It's like, the, he's nervous. Yeah, like, yeah he, and he's got, like, game day jitters. But that's, like, crazy that he, like, knows. Yeah, yeah. Bon chance. Bon chance. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I was afraid you would show up. Well, uh, not a tip on a horse. <laughs> <laughs> Many of the owners conceding that this is, in fact, a match race between Secretariat and Shaq. Oh, I feel like I have nerves for the horse. I know. We don't like the lead. Whoa, we've never done this before. <laughs> I'm nervous. You think he's going to let... Because I don't know. <laughs> you think he's gonna let Sham pass him, tire Sham out, and then he's gonna go. Oh, I'm nervous. So we got a lot of track left. It's okay. Don't rush him too hard. I don't know. I mean, he has been training really, really hard. It's a catastrophe. 
My hands are sweating. Me <laughs> too. Oh my gosh, half a mile. That's so long. Oh my gosh. Okay, maybe like, uh, are you nervous right now? Yeah, I don't want it to get hurt. Oh my gosh, don't burst his heart. It's okay, you're way ahead, you can slow down. Is he okay? He Does something happen? shy away from the sword. No, I think they're all just in awe, I'm hoping. And the trumpet sound. <gasps> <laughs> He's like a super horse. He's <gasps> by so much. That was history. Yeah, which is probably why. That's impossible. He <laughs> said <laughs> yeah. that was incredible. <laughs> <laughs> The Triple Crown. Oh! In 37 years, Sir Terry won the Triple Crown. His winning time in the Belmont Stakes and his margin of victory have never been approached. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the real one. She thought of the name. Oh, she was even wearing that dress in yeah. the last. With him more than any other human being, always call him Big Red. Oh, I love Annie. <gasps> that was oh, they put her in the movie. Oh, that's really tender. By 32 lengths. Is that what they said? I loved that. I loved it so much. I thought it was so good. And you got like the competitive edge mm -hmm. and the sports aspect, but it was also like so inspiring. Yes. And like, Penny, I love, I'm obsessed with her. I love her. I love Same. her. Same. She was like, you know, especially in the late 60s, mm -hmm. early 70s, mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. that was... She was living in a man's world. Yeah. You know? Like, and she yeah. just believed so mm -hmm. strongly. And I, I am so risk adverse, so I don't know yeah. that, like, <laughs> someone could have said, like, well, I'll give you eight million, you owe six million, and, like, walked away yeah. from that. And yeah. she did because mm -hmm. she's like... She knew, <gasps> and she understood the horses. I know, I know. I wish her dad could have seen it. I know. But like, obviously he, she got that from yes. him. Yes, totally. Oh, it was a really special movie. Mm -hmm. I like, really tender. want to go pet a horse and like, just like, I know like me too. Feel like, oh, its spirit. Yes, <laughs> that's exactly how I feel. Like, me too. Yeah, like befriend a horse. Yes. <laughs> like, how, oh, oh, oh yeah. I know. I loved it. I mean, like like you said, it had like the sports aspect. Mm -hmm. So we love sports movies. It's so yes. fun to oh, watch. Yeah. And I loved the team aspect. Me too. Like it makes me just want to go be a better person. Yeah. Like I feel more motivated to like work out tomorrow and to be <laughs> a good person. I'm just right? like, okay, here we go. And just like, I don't know, it seemed like from that movie and from watching other horse movies that like the business can be kind of like okay. rough and cutthroat mm -hmm. and like butting heads with jockeys with owners yeah. and owners with trainers and but like she just was like kept them together and she lifted everyone yes. like Eddie said like she yep. lifted everyone and Miss Ham too yeah she was like <laughs> it was really great it was like such a beautiful team mm -hmm. and I loved it mm -hmm. and yeah I really liked that movie I really loved it Secretariat well <sighs> okay good picks everyone yes thank you so <laughs> much for watching along with us. Mm -hmm. We'll see you next week. I like when you get tickets to the Kentucky Derby. Yeah.